Good morning. Hello, everybody. Oh, my God. Shut up, lady. That's me on the background speaking. <laughs> How are you, everybody? Hi, Verde Wellness. What? I'm honored, honey. How are you? Verde Wellness is in the house. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee Break with her by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Laura Gonzalez. And I welcome you to the Coffee Break today, Wednesday, October 4th. <coughs> yes, this year we will have a Friday the 13th on October. No, there's nothing to fear. Other than fear in itself. Fear itself. So we have oracles today. For those who have never been here, you know, like Brother Wellness, this is the first time I see you live, so thank you. Um, we do these videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Monday we do Tarot for the Week. On Wednesdays we do Oracles. And on Fridays we do Tarot for the Weekend. Now there are times that I'm not available and I don't do the video. And if that happens, then the next time I do the video, I'll do a little combination of tarot and oracles or something like that. But anyway, uh, thank you for being here. And today we have Anatomy of a Witch, the Oracle by Laura Tempesakara. Hello, Janet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So Anatomy of a Witch by Laura Tempesakara. We have the Gospel of Aradia. Thy mind tarot. Oh, time and tarot. Duh. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, the Gospel of Aradia. And it's so hard to read the names on Instagram. And we have the Halloween Oracle. Also by Stacy DeMarco. Did I say Stacy DeMarco? These two, these two are by Stacy DeMarco. And why do I have so many oracles by Stacey Marco? Because she's fantastic. I think I'm going to put a Amazon wish list because there are more oracles that I want. And they are by Stacey Marco. And if I buy more oracles, my husband is probably going to divorce me. No, he won't. I'm just being funny. My husband is not that kind of person. Thank you, goddess. Anyway, welcome to the coffee break. I hope you have your cup of coffee. Look at this wonderful cup of coffee. It was a gift. And when my friend gifted this, he said, coffee break. Oh. So coffee break, dear friend. All right. Let's see what the anatomy of a witch has for us. I still cannot shuffle, especially these big old cards. I mean, look at the size of the cards. They're bigger than my hand. And I usually shuffle this sideways, but at this moment with my tendonitis, I don't think so. So we're just going to do this. Where is everybody? I'm really surprised that there's only three people watching. Let me invoke. Let me start invoking people. Silver Lad, I invoke you. Marvelously Marisa, I invoke you. Um, my Blair, I invoke you. Donald Kiawit, come watch the video. Let's see if. <laughs> Hi, Marvelously Marisa. Did you hear me that I was invoking you? <laughs> we have Nourish. Look at this beautiful card. Nourish. Oh my God. I love the art of Laura Tepesakro. In case you haven't noticed that. Nourish. Nourish. Seriously, Marisa, I want to hear if you hear me invoking you. All right. Nourish. 
And the message will be, if you've been feeling stagnant or uninspired, if you've been feeling stagnant or uninspired, it could be time to try some new flavors, activities, media, or social circles to shake things up. Challenge yourself to go outside of your comfort zone. See what's recommended by the staff at the library or bookshop, or try today's special at the cafe. Are you feeling lucky? And Marisa says she heard. <laughs> There is Erica Ramirez. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, nourish, right? If you've been feeling stagnant or uninspired, it could be time to try some new flavors, activities, media, or social circles to shake things up. Challenge yourself to go outside of your comfort zone. See what's recommended by the staff at the library, bookshop, or try today's special at the cafe. Are you feeling lucky? So shake things up. And I see Erica Ramirez going, oh my God. So I'm guessing this is speaking to you, Erica. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So uh, for those who are in the Chicagoland area, speaking of cafes, Chicagoland area, uh, Thursday, tomorrow, I will be at the Hunky Tonk tomorrow at Hunky Tonk starting at 7. So come get your readings tomorrow at 7 at the Hunky Tonk. And on the 7th, which is Saturday, I will be at the Mind, Body, and Soul on the Berwyn Shops, hosted by Freedom Lee State of Mind. Uh, we did a whole one hour live yesterday. We were gone for 15 minutes and then one hour later, I'm like, yeah, we need to cut. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that video, go to my Instagram and watch the video because there's a lot of good information there. And uh, if you're on Instagram, just scroll two videos behind this one, I think, or is one video? I don't know. And I'm going to be there at the uh, Berwin Shops doing tarot readings from 1 to 6. And that's going to be on Saturday. Oh. Please pardon me while I clean my mouth with my fingers. All right, this one stuck to my hand. Let's see what card it is. The zombie. Ooh. The zombie. Look at the zombie. That's how stiff my hand was feeling a few weeks ago. The zombie. It has to be the last one. It's with a Z. Yep. Zombie. Should the zombie step unsteadily into your life, it's time to look at the concept of control. Do you want to control everything, living little to free expression? Do you choose partners who are not your equals so that they are more easily manipulated and changed to your liking? Or do you allow that to happen to you? If you are not living your most authentic life, it's time to look at why and how to change it. So wait a minute. On one hand, we are told to go try the new menu, try new things, go out and about, and on the other hand, literally in the zombie hand, we are told to stop trying to control. Do you see the pattern here? There's a pattern of being adventurous, trying not to control the outcome, and let things, let the chips fall where they may. Is that how you say that say? Anyway. Should a zombie step unsteadily into your life, it's time to look at the concept of control. Do you want to control everything, living little to free expression? Do you choose partners who are not your equals so that they are more easily manipulated and changed to your liking? Or do you allow that to happen to you? If you are not living your most authentic life, it's time to look at why and how to change that. <laughs> uh, Mar 
Marissa say, them cards, wait to call me out two readings in a row. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. You're welcome, honey. You know, these messages come from the divine. I call it goddess. You call it whatever you want to call it. And she called us out because this was best for us. I always think about the divine gods, goddesses, the universe. Somebody just told me the all. I think calling it the all is also pretty cool. I believe, I am not trying to make you believe like I believe, but I believe that they are like parents and that sometimes they have to say no. And sometimes they have to call us out, <laughs> you know. And sometimes they, I mean, it's part of their, their teaching, right? They're teaching us how to exist in this wonderful planet, in this incarnation. Now, if you don't believe on anything sacred, if you don't believe that there is a, a divine, a god and goddess or whatever, um, what do you believe? Fate or your own destiny or the universe pulling the strings? I don't know. I don't know what you believe. Really, I don't. And really is none of my business. But I truly don't believe that it's Laura giving you the message because I am not choosing, you know. It's the divine calling us out, setting us straight and telling us like, you know. Like this thing that happened with me with my hands that I'm not able, haven't been able for a long time to hold on to things that are too heavy or for too long. I mean, there is a huge message there. And it's been three and a half months. So the divine is like Lego, 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 Lego. And so I am. I am letting go because I cannot literally hold on to things. You know, did you see that? They're, 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 oh. Anyway. One more card. Games. Oh my God, it's, it's within the same vein, I promise you, games, because games is about playing games. What's going on? Uh, games. <laughs> Erica is cracking up over there. <coughs> games. Games should be above board and full of fun. They should never be underhanded, covert, mean-spirited, or harmful in any way. If someone is playing a strategic game against you, understand it for what it is, indeed a game, and change the rules to suit yourself. Seek the light-hearted company of others. A celebration will soon be announced. Again, with finding no company. Again, with finding new company. I mean, guys, three out of three? Three out of three, we are really being told to change the people around us. Or the situations around us and to stop trying to freaking control them. Mm. Truly allow the, the divine to take away, take away from you what don't serve you. And what don't serve you Sometimes it could be your boss, your job, your partner, holding on to things that you really like. I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> it's a very direct message. And I'm laughing because there's a meme going around talking about the Bayless thing, the how witches we, October starts and we start going the Bayless thing. Uh, the bell is thin, and the messages are being so direct. I mean, three out of three. Oh, my God, Marisa. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Can I share what you, I mean, I guess I can share. You just posted. Uh, they say, I got to change my job. The cars are saying it. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So, games, especially if they're playing games with you, honey. You ain't a child to be playing games underhanded and under the table. All right. A lighter heart is something sometimes apt. When a game between two is played, one gets to know the other a little better. 
and opinions might be changed or swayed. But games too can be wild and dark, hiding what is and what will be. Batter and bruise the way it might go, and win and bring no guarantee. So games should be above board and full of fun. They should never be underhanded, covert, mean-spirited, or harmful in any way. If someone is playing a strategic game against you, understand it for what it is indeed a game and change the rules to suit yourself seek the light-hearted company of others a celebration will soon be announced a lighter heart is sometimes apt when a game between two is played one gets to know the other a little better and opinions might be changed or sway but games too can be wild and dark Hiding what is and what will be. Batter and bruise, they might go. The weight might go. And winning bring no guarantee. Wow. I'm not surprised because I've been letting go for three months. Because, you know. So, sometimes the, call, the cars call me out. Right? And I know that the cars are really like, Hey, Laura, pay attention to this and that. But this time, I truly believe if they have nothing to do with me and everything to do with you guys, like you really are holding on to stuff that don't make you happy. And that's what I feel the most, you know, like change flavors, do what makes you happy, try not to control the outcome, uh, stop playing games, you know, because a lot of the times we agree to play them stupid games because you know it's convenient because it is diplomatic because we don't want to soil our reputation forget that if the season of the dead don't remind us that there is only one life and that we ought to live it in happiness you know and hi becky welcome uh, I am not worse. I am not using the B word until I am fully healed, but the hands are not worse. The, the movement is coming back slowly. And speaking of ancestors, speaking of the dead, speaking of ancestors, I really, really, really want to invite you. I know a lot of things, humbly, but I am not an expert on anything except for Day of the Dead, the dead, ancestors, ancestor work, working with the dead, working with ancestors, etc. That to be said, I am teaching a class on ancestors spells. This is a class in which you will learn how to work your magic, whether you're new or an expert, uh, working with ancestors and that will be on October 8th the price of the class is only $25 because I want to make them accessible to everybody to find the class you can click on my link tree the link tree is on insta the link tree is on this very video on the description or you can just go to link tree magia serati m-a-g-i-a c-e-r-a-t-i that's my insta uh, link and you can find there the information the class is only 25 dollars, and you will learn how to work with the ancestors and there was no coincidence i made it happen that working with ancestors was was the class that come on october there are also a whole bunch of classes that i have on demand um, tarot classes on demand. They are tarot classes on demand. They are classes on all the whole spells series. So you can buy candle spells or cleansing spells or uh, love spells, um, moon spells, sun spells, etc. There's a whole collection that you can buy on demand. And um, yeah, we, we can do that. So anyway, thank you all for sticking around. Oh my God, we're going on 20 minutes? Seriously? Sorry. <laughs> thank you for sticking around for the whole 20 minutes. 
Thank you, uh, Janet, Erica, and Becky that just came through. You're going to have to watch the replay, Becky. And to everybody on the gram, Rod Velasquez, Time and Tarot, Marvelously Marisa, who was invoked and appeared, and Verde Wellness. Thank you all for watching. And until we meet again, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.